What about Greg Taylor? What did you think? He's been mentioned a couple of times, arguably man of the match. What do you think of his game and how he's improved this year? Yeah, certainly with the, the, the new signing coming in, he's probably thought to himself, right, I, I need to step it up a level. And as I said, um, a, lo- a lot of people goes on about Jota and Kyogo and Callum McGregor, and rightly so, because they're, they're top players, but he was very good yesterday. You've got to take your hat off to him. Um, with that and the same inverted fullback, he actually mm-hmm. enjoys coming in and, and playing. And as I said to you, the, the first goal, if any young player's watching that, how he receives it, opens his body, he's aware of what's round about him. And he plays a, a pass that a midfielder would, would love to play, um, like a Callum McGregor type pass. Um, but no, he looks to me if he's he's got that bit between his teeth because he wants to make sure he, he's in that starting eleven because he knows that there's players in the sideline that are going to be breathing down your net. If you don't perform, you're going to about the team. But he was um, he was very good, and as I said, he's one of the ones where week in week out. Let's be honest, he never lets you down. No. He does. I think. I mean, Celtic supporters that I speak to. Um, he's a he's a steady seven out of ten every mm-hmm. single week. Um, and look, the manager really rates him. You seen the interview after it, Jota acknowledging what he he does for the the, the team. Um, so no, he's he's certainly come on leaps and bounds since he's since Poster Coglu's come in. In my opinion, and Greg Taylor, I've just got nothing but admiration for him. Because he's not as an easy ride. He's had to win over the Celtic supporters. You know, when Celtic, every transfer window, you'd have Celtic fans on this show, Paul saying, we need to strengthen left back, we need to strengthen left back. You don't hear them saying that now. Now, Celtic spent three and a half million strengthen that position in Burnley by yeah. But Greg Taylor has just kept his head down, never mumped and moaned, had to come through a lot. And uh, at two million quid, uh, Neil Lennon signed him, remember. Uh, what a great piece of business. He has improved, but yeah. big time over the last 12 months. Mm-hmm. In my eyes, I always thought he was. It was one of the ones where will he be a, a Celtic player? Because obviously, coming for command, not no disrespect, but you're coming in with the expectations and the pressures. Neil Lennon, as Mark just mentioned, they're signing for two million pounds, which is a, a fair bit of cash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think over the last twelve months, he has grew in. He become a, a really important part of that, that Celtic team. 